used especially for finding particular sites on the world wide web okay next question what does seo and why it's so important answer is this is very important question the process of maximizing the number of visitors to a particular website by ensuring that the site appears high on the top list of results returned by the search engine okay search engine basically is the process of maximizing the number of visitors to a particular website by ensuring that the site appears high on the list of results returned by the search engine okay seo is very important because seo starts with the desire of the companies to gain more traffic for the websites and the ranking over search engine matters because users pay more heed to the first five searchers on Google. Moreover, the users tend to trust Google's refined search results because they consider the search to be more authentic and specific. Next question: Name some search engines used across the world. Okay, so the very popular search engine used across the world are Google. First one in ranking in lots of search engine, Wing, Yahoo, Vedu, DuckDuckGo, and Yandex. Okay, they all are the search engines used across the world. Next question: Who are the founders of Google? The founders of Google are Larry Page and Sergey Brin. Next question: In which year was Google established? Answer is Google was established on 4th of September in 1998. Next question. What is World Wide Web? This is very important and frequently asked question. WWW World Wide Web or the web is an information system on, on the internet which allows documents to be connected to other documents by hypertext links enabling the user to search for information while moving from one document to another next question what is a domain answer is domain is a distinct subset of the internet with addresses sharing a common suffix or under the control of a particular organization or individuals for example in www.idigitalacademy.com in this example iDigital Academy is the domain name of this website. Okay. Next question. What is a website? Website is a collection of related web pages, including multimedia content, typically identified with a common domain name, and published on at least one web server. Okay. Focus on this point. Website can be published on at least one web server. Next question. What is a web server? Answer is web server is a program that uses HTTP means hypertext transfer protocol to serve the files that from web pages to users. In response to their request which are forwarded by their computers, HTTP clients and dedicated computers and appliance may be referred to as a web server as well. Okay. Next question. What is web hosting? Web hosting is a service that allows organizations and individuals to push to post a website or web page onto the internet. A web host or web hosting service provider is a business that provides the technologies and services needed for the website or web page to be viewed on the internet. Websites are hosted on a store or a special computers called servers. Okay. Next question. What is web crawler? Answer is web crawler is also known as a web spider or web robot and it's a program or automated script which browsers the world wide web in a methodical automated manner. This process is called web crawling or spidering. Many legitimate sites in particular search engines use spidering as a means of providing up to date data. Okay. Next question. What is indexing? Answer is indexing starts when the crawling process gets over during a search. Google uses crawling to collect pages relevant to the search queries and creates an index that includes a specific word or search terms and their locations. 
Next question, what is SERP? Firstly, SERP stands for Search Engine Result Page. Okay, and SERP refers to the page that is displayed when a specific search query is entered over the search engine. Apart from showing a list of results, SERP might also include advertisements. Okay, next question. What do you mean by inbound link? This is very important question. Answer is the incoming links to your website or web page from the different page of the same website are called as backlink. Okay, and its link also called as an inbound link. Next question. What are outbound links? Answer is outbound links are a links which are linked from your website to another web page or website. Okay. Next question, describe Google Boot. Answer is caching, crawling and indexing of a web page are done through Google Boot by collecting details from the web page. To index and update a web page, Google uses the Google Boot means web spider. Next question, what is cross-linking and what is the function of cross-linking? Answer is cross-linking is used to refer to the process of linking one site to another. Okay. And it's provide the users with references site that contain the content related to the search. The two websites are cross-linking do not be owned by the same person. Okay. In other words, cross-linking is a button wherein, wherein I link to you and you link to me. Okay. And, and it could be a two-way link or three-way link. In a two-way link, site A links to site B. And site B links to site A. And in the concept of three-way link, site A links to site B, site B links to site C, and site C links to site A. Among the links A, B, C respectively. Okay. Next question. What is the benefit of using the keyword in SEO? Answer is, keyword is a single word. And while a combination of those keywords makes phrases. These are used in the search engines to populate the subject facts over the internet. Search engine stores keyword in the database and when a search is done, it will come up with the best possible match. Next question. What are robots and crawlers and what are their functions? Answer is robot and crawlers are all same and referred by different names. It's referred to be as the software program that follows or curls different links throughout the internet and then grabs the content from the sites and adds to the search engine indexes. Next question. What does it mean if nothing appears while searching the domain in search engine? Answer is on searching your domain, if nothing appears, then there are three possibilities. First possibility is the site may be banned by search engine. Second one is the site is not indexed by search engine. And third one is some canonical issues. Okay. Next question. What is keyword steaming? Answer is the process of finding out new keywords from the root keyword from the search query is referred as keyword steaming. Next question. Which are the SEO blocks that can be referred? Answer is first one. Google Webmaster Central, second one Search Engine Land, third one SEO Smarty, fourth one Moz, fifth one Search Engine Journal, and sixth one is Bank Linko. Okay, they all are the very popular SEO blog sites. Next question What do you mean by clocking? Answer is Clocking is a deceptive way of optimizing your websites for search. In this technique, a different content will be shown to the search engine crawler than what is presented to the end users. Next question. How many types of meta tags are there in SEO and what are their characters limit? Answer is, there are many types of meta tag in SEO. First one, meta description tag and limit of meta description tag is 320 words. Okay. Second one, meta keyword tag. Third one, meta tag with 60 word limits. And fourth one is meta robots. Okay. Next question. What are the characters limit in meta title tag and meta description tags? Answer is 
we can add 60 characters in the title tag and 320 characters in meta description tag. Next question, what is Google Sandbox? Answer is, Google Sandbox is an imaginary area where new websites and their search rating are put on hold until they prove worthy for ranking. In other words, it checks the standard of the website. Next question, what is Black Hat SEO? This is very important question. Answer is, in order to get a high ranking in search engine result page, websites go for various methods and techniques which are characterized by two categories. One method that is acceptable by searching by search engine guidelines is known as white hat SEO, while the other method which is not acceptable by search engine guideline is known as black hat SEO. Okay. Next question. Name few black hat SEO techniques. Answer is link farming, second one hidden text, third one gateway or doorway pages. 4 one clocking, 5th one keyword stuffing. They all are the black hat SEO techniques. Next question. Differentiate between no follow and do follow link. Answer is no follow links do not pass link choose and have no impact on Google ranking algorithm. At the other hand, do follow link passes link choose and has an impact on Google ranking algorithm. Next question. What is the difference between PR and SERP? What is PR? PR stands for page rank. And what is SERP? SERP stands for search engine result page. Okay. Answer is page rank is calculated on the basis of quality inbound links from other website or web pages to our web pages or a website. SERP stands for search engine result page. And is the placement of the website or web pages which is returned by the search engine after a search query or attribute. Next question. What is organic result? Answer is organic search is a method for entering one or a plurality of search items in a single data string into a search engine. Organic search results are listing on search engine results pages that appear because of their relevance to the search terms as opposed to their being advertisements okay next question what are paid results answer is paid search marketing means you advertises within the sponsored listings of a search engine or a partner site by paying either each time you add is clicked means pay per click ppc or less commonly when your ad is displayed and it means cost per impression okay Next question, what is Google Suggest or Autocomplete? Answer is, Google Suggest is a part of the autocomplete function of Google search engine. Okay, when any users enter a word or some letters over the search field, Google shows many associated terms to him or in a drop down menu. Such suggestions are collection of the most frequently searched terms over the Google search engines. Okay, for example, this is the example of autocomplete in Google search engine. When you type digital marketing and this is the relevant result and frequently searching result are present in drop down menu. Okay. And they are present with the help of autocomplete feature of Google search engine. Okay. Next question. Why is the title tag in website valuable? Answer is. Title tags are very essential in SEO as it tells about the contents on that web page. Through title tags, only the search engine will tell the user what is there in the page. Next question. What is considered as more significant creating content or building backlinks? Answer is both are very necessary. Creating quality content is equally important to building backlinks. Although building backlinks are useful in building authority to a site and for a ranking and for ranking as well, quality content is the first element that is considered to be more responsible for ranking. Okay, next question. Can you explain the difference between SEO and SEM? Answer is 
The difference between SEO and SEM is simply that search engine optimization is a part of search engine marketing. Okay, what is SEO? SEO stands for search engine optimization and what is SEM? SEM stands for search engine marketing. Okay, or search marketing also. Search marketing as it's widely known, both processes aim in increasing visibility in, visibility in search engines. It involves other methods that can get you more search engine visitors like PPC advertising. Okay, pay per click advertising. Next question. What do you know about LSI? Answer is LSI stands for Latent Semantic Indexing. LSI technique is established to obtain the data by relating the words to its closest counterparts or to its similar context. Next question. How will you cross check whether your SEO campaign is working or not? Answer is to check whether your SEO campaign is working or not. The first approach is to check the website statistics, which tells you about the origin of traffic. The other way of checking is to make a search based on the relevant keywords and key phrases and look for the search result. Okay, the number of search result will tell you whether your SEO campaign is working or not. Next question, what is on-page SEO? Answer is, on-page SEO refers to all the activities performed within the websites to get higher ranking and more relevant traffic from the search engine. Okay, next question, what is off-page SEO? Answer is, off-page SEO relates to the other aspects that influence the search ranking of websites on the search engine result page. Okay, next question. What is long tail keyword? Answer is long tail keywords are phrases containing over four plus word that make search result highly specific. These long phrases are used by smart SEO experts when they attempt to draw quality traffic to their websites rather than having random traffic and increase their lead conversions rates. Next question, what are heading tags? Answer is, in SEO, heading or header tags are used to separate the heading and subheading of any content from the rest of the web page. Okay, there are six heading tags used in SEO in a top-down hierarchy, ranking from H1 to H6, means H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6 respectively. Header tags bring coherence and content along with relevancy and keyword consistency in the search result displayed on SERPs. Okay, next question. What is canonical URLs? What is URL? Uniform Resource Locator. Okay, canonical URLs relate to the concept of selecting the best URL for the web pages that the visitors want to see. Also known as canonical tags, these URLs have in contained syndication where multiple versions of a same page become available over the internet. Thus, it's used to resolve issues related to content duplication. For example, most people would consider these the same URLs. First one www.example.com and second one is example.com slash. Third URL is www.example.com slash index.html. Fourth one example.com slash home.asp. Okay, most people would consider these the same URLs, but no. Technically, all of these URLs are, are different to each other. Okay. Next question. What is page title? Answer is page title also known as title tag is a phrase used by describing a web page content. Okay. The title tag appears on the search result pages just above the URL means see below and also appears at the top of a browser. Next question, what is the definition of URL? Answer is, URLs provides users with ways to identify and locate resources and documents on the web pages. URLs contain internet protocols, IP addresses of the host and the domain name along with other information. Next question, what is SEO friendly URL? Answer is, 
SEO friendly URLs are used to optimize the structure and word users in URLs so that the process of indexing a website by search engines becomes improved. Now, SEO techniques such as putting keywords and having proper length and file structure in the URLs that they are helps in improving website ranking and enhancing website navigation. Okay. Next question. What are meta description? Answer is meta description are also called HTML attributes which should provide an accurate description of any web page content. These descriptions act as previous snippets of the web pages over the SERP page. Next question. What are backlinks? Answer is backlinks are also called incoming links that helps user to shift from one web page to the other web pages. These links play an important part in SEO. When Google search engine views multiple quality backlinks to a web page, it considers the web page to be more relevant to the search query, which helps in its indexing process and improves its organic ranking on SERPs. Okay. Next question, what are do follow links? Answer is a do follow links as the name suggests allow Google link calculator called page rank to count all the inbound links from other web pages and websites as link points. The higher the link choose or link points are, the greater would be the search ranking of that web page as these links make the web page appear very relevant and popular to the Google search engines. Okay, next question. What are no follow links? Answer is a no follow link is exactly the opposite of a do follow link. As such, the link attributes don't allow the Google boots to follow them. These links can't be followed by robots, only humans can do it. Okay, no follow links attributes are structured in the following manner and manner is. A href means hyperlink is equal to http colon double slash www.example.com then drill is equal to no follow. Okay, that, then your respected link tags, then your anchor tag closed. Okay, next question, what is internal linking? Answer is internal linking is a process of providing hyperlinks on the web pages that connect to the same domain. It's another way of directing the visitors from one web page to another of the same websites. They help search engine spiders to crawl and index all the inner pages of a website's blog easily and such links help in building information hierarchy while pushing up the link choose label in any given website and allowing the visitors to navigate the website pages properly. Next question. What are incoming links? Inbound links are also known as incoming links or backlinks. They refer to the hyperlinks present on a third party web page that directs users to your web page only. Inbound links can be based on both text and graphics. However, textual inbound links are more useful in drawing greater traffic and improving the page rank label of any web page. Next question What is an outgoing link? Answer is an Outbound link is a hyperlink that points at a targeted or external domain and is different from the links present on the source domain. For example, if you provide links to other third party web pages on your websites, those would be external links to your site. Okay. Next question. Why are backlinks very important and useful in SEO? Answer is from the perspective of SEO. There is a difference between backlinks and quality backlinks. For Google search, random backlinks do not offer any help. Google accesses the quality of the backlinks present on a web page with the relevancy found in the content of both the web pages. Okay, the higher is the relevance between the original content and backlink content, the greater becomes the quality of the backlinks. Next question. What are the most important Google ranking factors? Answer is the top three popular ranking factors affecting the search engine algorithm of Google are first one content, second one backlinks and third one rank brain. Okay. Next question. What do you mean by robots.txt? Answer is 
Robots.txt is one way of telling the search engine boots about the web pages on your websites which to which you don't want them to visit. Robots.txt is useful for preventing the indexation of the parts of any online content that website owned do not want to display. Next question What is HTML sitemap? Answer is an HTML sitemap comprises of one single HTML pages that viewers the links of all the web pages of any specific website. This sitemap holds the foundation of all web pages or of any website as well as HTML sitemap contains all formatted text files and linking tags of any websites. It's particularly useful when you have a large website with multiple web pages because it helps you to improve the navigation of your website by listing all the web pages in one place in a user-friendly manner. Next question, what is a XML sitemap? Answer is, a Google XML sitemap informs the search engine about the number of pages present on a specific website, the frequency of their updates and the time of the last modification performed by them which helps in proper indexing of the website by the search engines. For example, HTTP is mytasker.com sitemap.xml. Okay. So here, this is sitemap.xml is a XML sitemap. Okay. A Google XML sitemap informs the search engine about the number of pages present on a specific website, the frequency of their updates and the time of the last modification performed by them which helps in proper indexing of the website by the search engines. For example, HTTP is mytasker.com sitemap.xml. Okay. So here, this is sitemap.xml is a xml sitemap okay and it's help in proper indexing of the website by the search engines next question what are doorway pages answer is doorway pages refers to the web pages or websites that are developed for higher ranking than specific search queries are entered next question is very important question what are 404 errors answer is 404 errors are considered one of the most potential impediments in the ways to successful SEO. When a specific URL is renamed or becomes non-existent, any links connecting to that URL would result in 404 errors. Okay. Next question. What is anchor text? Answer is anchor text denotes to a visible hyperlink the text that can be clicked through. Such hyperlinked text links to different documents or locations available on the web. Okay. Next question. What will be your next step if your SEO techniques doesn't work? Answer is. Firstly, analyze the problem and resolve them step by step. First step is check the keywords again. Second step is check out for relevant keywords that can be helpful for optimization. Third step is, even though the web page and website has been indexed well and is still not appearing on the first 10 pages of search engine result page, then I would make some change in page tags, titles and descriptions. Fourth step is, if website is not indexed well or dropped from the index, then it might comprise serious issues and rework might be required. Okay. Next question, what is PPC? Answer is, PPC stands for pay per click and is an advertisement campaigns hosted by Google. Next question. What are webmaster tools? Answer is webmaster tools is a service provider by Google from where you can get backlink information, crawl errors, search queries, indexing data, CTR, etc. Next question. What do you mean by keyword density? Answer is Keyword density will help to stand out your content from others. The formula is total number of keyword is divided by total number of words in your article and it's multiplied by 100. Okay. Next question. What will you do for the company website you are working for decides to move all the total number of words in your article and it's multiplied by 
hundred. Okay. Next question: What will you do for the company website you are working for? Decide to move all the contents to a new domain. Answer is: The first step would be to update the previous site with a permanent redirect to a new page. To a new page for all the pages. After that, I will remove the previous content from a search engine in in order to avoid duplicate content issues. Okay. Next question: Can you optimize the website which has pages in millions? Answer is: From SEO point of view, few SEO stuff have to be implemented. First one: A good internal link structure. Second one: Generation of dynamic title and description. And third one is dynamic XML sitemap generation. Next question: How will you neutralize a to a toxic link to your site? Answer is: Toxic links are the links which are said to be as the harmful links which affect your websites. If there is any link in toxic link report that matches with the link on your website, then you can remove it by using Google Disallow tool. Next question. Mention how can you check if someone is not building or redirecting a low quality backlink to your site? Answer is there are several tools which can help you check all these low quality backlinks and the paid tools which can be used in Ahrefs. Okay. Next question: How backlink tools work? Answer is backlink tools run a series of tests to tell you how many backlinks are pointed to the web link you entered. Okay. Next question: Mention how often should you perform a link audit? Answer is: If you have just started on building links, you can do audit quite often, but a complete link audit should be done approximately once a year. Next question: Mention what do you understand by frames in HTML? Answer is: A frame in HTML is a technique that divides the content of a web page onto several parts. Search engine considers frames as completely different pages, and many have a negative impact on SEO. We should avoid the uses of frames and use basic HTML instead. Next question: Which is the most important area to include your keywords? Answer is: The most important area to include your keywords are first one page title, second area is body text, and third area is meta description tag. Okay. Next question. What if your website is banned by the search engines for black hat practices? Answer is: If your website is banned by the search engines for black hat practices, you can apply for re-inclusion after correcting your wrongdoings. Okay. Next question: What if your SEO approach method doesn't work? Answer is: If the SEO method doesn't work, perform the following activity. First activity is. First, see whether it's a new project. Then recheck the keywords. Second activity is then look for relevant keywords that can be helpful. Third one is make change in page text, title, and description respectively. Next one is if it's still not ranked, then there may be some other serious issues like bad links, penguin panda, or other Google penalty, crawl ability issues, and UI issues, etc. Next question: What is Google Analytics? This is very important, very very important question. Answer is: Google Analytics is one of the most empowering analytical tool in SEO, launched in 2005, which helps an individual to track and monitor the traffic on their websites. If a premium web services, which means that it provides certain basic certain basic services free of charge, while the premium services demand investment. Okay. Next question: What do you mean by Google Page Rank? Answer is: Google Page Rank is the software with the Google runs which are determined by the relevancy of one web page based on the number of quality backlinks it contains. Next question: What is search engine submission? Answer is: Search engine submission is the submissions in which a website is directly submitted to the search engine. So that its online recognition and visibility is increased. In other words, it's one way of informing the search engines about the existence of any websites, which is then indexed by the search engine and reflected on the SERP page. Okay. Next question: 
What is directory submission? Answer is directory submission in SEO relates to the listing of any web addresses or site with the relevant details over various web directories under a specific category. Next question. What is article submission? Answer is article submission is considered a part of off-page SEO optimization which can add up more or more article submission which involves the presentation of articles to online article directories like design articles, go articles and article trader etc. Next question. What is press release submission? Answer is Press release submission involves writing press releases and submitting them to effective and popular PR sites for building incoming links to any specific websites which will again add up the information to the websites. Next question. What are classified ads? Answer is a classified ad is a form of advertising which is particularly common in newspapers, online and other Periodicals which may be sold or distributed free of charge. Classified ads are much cheaper than any other ads. Okay. Next question. What is form posting? Answer is form posting is the act of engaging, interacting and writing on a form's thread by leaving a simple response to the thread or to a particular post by a user on the same thread. This would ensure your backlink is present over there and help you and help you to improve in link building. Okay. Next question. What is a business directory? Answer is a business directory is a website or printed listing of information which lists our businesses within some category. Businesses can be categorized by business, location, activity or site. Next question. What is social bookmarking? Answer is, social bookmarking is a way for people to store, organize, search and manage bookmarks of the web pages. Users can save these links to the web pages that the link to want to share using a social bookmarking site to store these links. Next question, what is social networking? Answer is, social networking is the practice of expanding the numbers of burns, wishes and our social contacts by making connections through through individuals, often through social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, Instagram and Google+. Okay. Next question. What is RSS field? Answer is RSS stands for Rich Site Summary and RSS is a format for delivering regularly changing web content as well as RSS feeds enables publishers to syndicate data automatically and a standard XML file format ensures compatibility with many different machines and programs. Next question. What is guest posting? Answer is guest posting is the process of creating content and publishing it on another person's website. Guest posting blogs allow showing authors by writers. Author biography means writer at the top of bottom of a guest post. Okay. Next question. What is blog commenting? Answer is blog commenting is a popular online marketing strategy of leaving, th of leaving thoughtful comments on a blog post where an individual or a visitor should be able to gain online presence and can submit their own links with the comment which will help them to increase their presence online. Okay. Next question. What is Google algorithm? Very important question. Answer is Google's algorithm does the work for you by searching out web pages that contains the keywords you used to search. Then assigning a rank to each page based on several factors including how many times the keywords appear on the page and quality of the page etc. Next question. What is HTTP's SSL update? Answer is HTTP's Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure is the protocol which is used to ensure the communication on the World Wide Web. HTTP prevents unauthorized person from seeing information that visitors send or receive over the internet. Next question. What are Google Site Links? Answer is Google Site Links are the 
sub listing that will sometimes show under the first listing on the first page of Google search results. These are hyperlinks to websites, subpages that appear under specific Google listing to help users navigate the site. Okay, next question. What is Google Knowledge Graph? Answer is Google Knowledge Graph ensures a visually appealing and intuitive graphical presentation of information related to queries. The Knowledge Graph is a knowledge base utilized by Google to improve its search engine's results with semantic search information gathered from a wide variety of sources. Next question, what is Google My Business? Answer is, Google My Business is a free and easy to use tool for businesses, brands, artists and organizations to manage their online presence across Google, including search and maps. By verifying and editing your business's information, you can both help customers find you and tell them the story of your business. Next question. Definition of SEO audit. Answer is, an SEO audit is a detailed checkup for your websites which involves looking at the technical infrastructure of your websites to, to optimize search engine visibility, usability and conversion. You can identify problematic areas that need improvement to create an action plan while a good SEO audit keeps problematic areas that need improvement to create an action plan while a good SEO audit keeps your websites up to date with the latest developments in search marketing. Next question. Popular SEO blogs to follow. Answer is here some of the popular blogs can be found in search engine land. They are Search Engine Journal, Search Engine Watch, Next One Content Marketing Institute, and Next One Watch, Next One Chris Mattresses, Next One Hubspot, etc. Next question What is AMP? Answer is AMP or Accelerated Mobile Pages is an open source coding standard for publishers to be able to load their sites quickly on mobile since mobile responsiveness could be. Unimpressive and they are Search Engine Journal, Search Engine Watch, Next One Content Marketing Institute, and Next One Watch, Next One Chris Mattresses, Next One Hubspot, etc. Next question What is AMP? Answer is AMP or Accelerated Mobile Pages is an open source coding standard for publishers to be able to load their sites. Quickly on mobile since mobile responsiveness could be unimpressive and, and slow compared to the desktop resources which are heavy and plenty. Name of a few popular SEO tools. Answer is the names of a few SEO tools are Google Search Console. First one. Second one Google Analytics. Third one Google Keyword Planner. Next one Verge Sumo. Next one Wing Webmaster Tools. Next one, Watch, and next one, SEM Rush, and other one is Check My Links, etc. Next question What is clocking? Answer is Clocking is a technique used to deliver the content on a web page to a search engine in a way that is different way to what the user what the user was looking for. Okay, the purpose of clocking is to boost a website search engine rank on a certain keywords. Next question, what is keyword density? Answer is, keyword density is a percentage of times a keyword or phrases appears on a web page. Keyword density can be used as for determining whether a web page is relevant to a specified keyword or keyword phrases. The percentage is always in comparison to the total number of words on the web page. Next question, what is keyword frequency? Answer is, Keyword frequency is the number of times a keyword or phrases appears on a single web page. Next question, what is Google Sandbox? Answer is, Google Sandbox is a filter placed on new websites as a result of which a site doesn't receive good rankings for its most important keywords or phrases. Even with good content, a site is may still significantly affected by the sandbox effect. Next question. What is the meaning of competitive analysis? Answer is a competitive analysis is a critical part of your company marketing plan. 
This analysis is marketing and strategic management is an assessment of the strengths and weakness of the current and potential competitors. Next question, what is CTR and how to boost it? Answer is CTR stands for click through rate and is measured by dividing the number of times a link appears on a search engine results page by the number of times it's actually clicked on by a visitor. A high organic CTR in Google or any search engines means you get more traffic. Okay. Next question. What is bounce rate? Answer is bounce rate is the number of visitors which a site receives only for them to leave the site after viewing only one page. Okay. Okay guys. Now let's wind up the session. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Wish you very, very all the best for examination. If you want any help in any subject, let me know in comment section kindly. Guys, I will help you surely. Guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos and press the bell icon also for latest update on my channel. Thank you. See you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.